I love how we stand like this. This is the uh, this is the, See the out thing. angle. Yeah. We're, we're like this. You're like it's the typical to... alpha male out angle. The other guy trying to cover up your yeah. abdomen type yeah, thing. Yeah, all we need to see is arms and yeah. chest cleavage. Yes. So it's only, <laughs> okay. only upper body. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, what is up, guys? Coach Joe here, here, once again with my great friend, Juji Mufu. Uh, we're gonna, we're doing all sorts of stuff. We had a competition of, you know, who could be stronger using bodybuilding equipment. Ah! The engine's revving now, ah! baby. Today, I've heard that there's a legend of the so-called Mufu dad mm. that roams Ooh. around the property every now and then and <laughs> that he may be here living in a dumpster. This is true. <laughs> living outside of a dumpster. Outside. That's, crucial. That's, cru it's that's crucial. That's crucial. Gigi yeah. Mufu does not put his dad in a dumpster. Anyway, is this true that there is this man, Mufu dad, who is how old? Uh, 70. 70 Ooh. years old. And he's getting after it. I mean, he's like an endurance guy, ultra marathon runner, just does everything. Um, but does he do strongman? I have never actually put him through any strongman movement, ever. Ooh. So this is a first, to see what my dad can do on strongman. All right, you want to see what he can do? Let's see what he can All do. Right. Are you ready? I am ready. Oh! Let's do this. He's going to kill it. We're going to teach him some strongman, and then put together our own little makeshift strongman medley for him to try. And we'll see how he does. Ooh. Our main goal here is we don't want to kill the man, all right? <laughs> we want him to smile and laugh a little bit, uh, but I think he's gonna do just fine, so we're excited. I think yeah. there's one thing that's missing. Come here. What's that? Oh, oh, let's look at the, let's look at all the equipment. Uh, you, you need, you need to, you need to look more like a strong man. <laughs> yeah, you, right. yeah. okay. you look like this, a this runner, isn't, isn't which is work. good. This, isn't, this doesn't work. This, this is not the strong man 50K. No. <laughs> You'll never see a straw man ever run more than 1K. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so I, can, I can run, I can outrun 50 of those straw men. Yeah, 50, you, okay. You okay. We got to change this, this man's up attire, making him an official straw man. So let's do it. Boom. Whoa. Who is this guy? <laughs> strong man. This strong, is okay. strong man. Okay. We got the laced up Reebok CrossFit shoes. What yep. are these shorts? Yep. John broke a man for uh, shorts. Yeah. What's this? Cerberus belt. We got a Cerberus belt. Cerberus. Uh. And then uh, we got some sleeves. We got some wrist wraps. Yep. We got some pit vipers just cause. Ooh. And a okay. bandana. Old school bandana. Old school. He's in a strong man biker gang. Yeah. Sound like this. Yeah. No, no, no. Like one, one hand there like that. Now kind of angle. That's it, you got it. 9K. 9K. <laughs> I don't know. Craig Goliath says it. I don't even know what it means. 9K. <laughs> All right, let's get out there and move some heavy stuff, old man. All right, so in Strawman, there's typically five events. So we picked five implements, and we're going to walk uh, Mufu Dad through each of the implements. But first, I have a question for him. Do you, do you know anything about Strawman? Have you ever watched it? Do you, what's your impression of Strawman? Uh, the really big guys that move big boulders and, and just, you know, strength oriented stuff. I don't think so much coordination. Maybe there is, but it's mainly strength. All right, cool, cool. So we're going to take him through and we're going to get him strong. Now, looking at Mufu Dad's body, I feel like we got to add some traps on him a little bit. So we got to build that, <laughs> build those traps. <laughs> yeah. Traps. Yep. So we're going to start by doing some farmer walks. So event one is going to be a oh. farmer carry, and that's what we have right here. So going through this event real quick, um, Mufu Dad, just pay attention, then you get to try. We want to make sure that our feet are about hip width, okay? Not so much wider, maybe shoulder width is okay, but we want these to be snug pretty close to our body, okay? The further out they are, the harder it's gonna be when we pick them up and they may come in and slam us. So okay. right about hip width is good. In terms of hand placement, right in the middle is a nice place to start. Yep. We don't wanna put them too far forward because if we pick them up, they're gonna swing up like that yeah, yeah. and kind of take us off guard. So I sometimes actually like to go a little bit backwards. So when I pick them up, they lean forward and I kind of take off with them uh, and yeah, use yeah, that yeah. momentum a little bit. Yeah. So. This is basically going to be a moving style event. So we're going to use the whole body, okay? But we're also going to feel it in our upper back and our traps just because like everything we do involves what guys? The back. So <laughs> what, what about side. anything as far as like your strides? Should he do anything particular like narrow stance, quick? We'll just probably steps? stay with like a hip width stance and just okay. kind of see how he's feeling with it, being comfortable in that position. Yeah. Um, over time, you can play with a little bit, but just rule of thumb, just start off basic hip width stance moving, you know, making sure that he's not uh, falling over or stumbling or anything like that and just get comfortable. So okay. I want him to hop in here, try this out and we'll just do 
probably down like 15, 20 feet, and then we'll turn around and walk them back. Okay. All right. So the whole yeah. walkway is, a, is the whole walkway is 50 feet. Yeah, 50 yeah. 50 feet. So 15, 20 feet is going to be uh, about twice as far from here to there. So just walk down a few paces. Okay. Yeah. You need to be some kind of instructor on this. That was great. Oh, thank you. That thank was you. awesome. Aww. So like all these how-to videos on YouTube. Okay. I have no idea. We're good with this. <laughs> <laughs> if your dad clearly doesn't watch my YouTube channel, so I'm a little upset. You but ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you hide, ready? Hide those feelings. Okay, okay. That's it. We're just walking. Nice. Yes. Perfect. How far, John? Uh, stop. Ready there? Yeah. Good. Set down. Then you set them down. Good. And turn around. We'll pick them back up. Oh, okay. So just like a deadlift. So try and get your back set real tight. Good up. There you go. And we'll walk them. That's it, that's it. Also a grip event, guys. So typically your grip uh, is gonna be one of those things that could go on here. I have a good grip. You got a good grip? I got a good grip. How do you have a good grip? What are you training? I got strong, I got big hands. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you oh, they're bigger oh, wait, than mine. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. They might be bigger than yours. And they are. It's uh, hard to tell. Hands? Who's got bigger hands? You? I think mine are the same size as his. You know what size ring I wore in high school? What ring? The high school ring? 12 and a half. Wow. I, I don't really know my ring size, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's big. What about you, John? I don't know what my ring size is. <laughs> I got a big hand like him, though. Uh, John, genetically, would be in your favor for strong man, based off your, your guys' genetics. Uh, my back. Your back. I got my back from him. My long arms helps for a lot of things, too. Oh. We got extremely long you arms. It's almost too. like an alien. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, John... Pterodactyl! Yours is like one inch longer or something that i don't know but uh yeah so there's i, I have the pretty decent genetics for strong men the only thing i don't have is like height you know strong men are typically better taller am i right uh yeah so i'd say most pros are definitely above the six two six three yeah height. Okay. uh so you guys are probably a little bit lacking in that department yeah, and but uh back and strength is very important and very good okay. he, needs he needs to, to do yeah. it doesn't matter how good your grip is if it slips out of your hands because they're wet so is that enough? I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're all right. So uh, how do we load these? How much weight is here now? Uh, you have 70 handles, right? These are 75 pound handles. 75. And you added an extra Each. 50 pounds. Okay. So in strongman, they're a little bit clickish about you know how how to say how heavy a farmer is. So this would be a 125 pound farmer carry, 125 pound in each hand, really. I think he's got about 250 pounds between them. Between them, yeah, oh. wow. that's pretty heavy. Oh, that's kind of scary. Uh, just, just stand up with. It. Actually, yeah, it is a little scary. How far you want me to go? Just stand up with it. Can you stand up with it? Yeah, big belly breath here. Can, can you Set. walk? Can you walk six feet? Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't stand that with it. Okay. I can tell you that. Okay. All right, we'll go down. We'll go down. We, we do want to do other events, right? Well, yes. uh, ideally, yeah. Because <laughs> yes. I'm not. I don't want to hurt myself on that one. Yeah. Goal, we may have to go down. We don't want to kill him. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. I mean, we added uh, 50 pounds per hand there, and that was past his max for sure. Uh, we're going to switch out those plates for some smaller ones here. Now what you got is uh, 95 pounds per hand, or approximately 190 pound total farmer carry mm -hmm. weight. Uh, okay. I think you do this. Yeah. Down Just take go. your time. Take your time. There we go. All that's right. it. See, that's the hardest part. I got this. Are you Where sure you about go? that? You sure that's the hardest yeah, part? Yeah. You want to go down to Circle K? Walk Queen. that way. <laughs> Maybe to the QT. There you <laughs> QT. Go. I like QTs. <laughs> come on, come on. Just tell me how far to go. Uh, we Going said the, the QT. This making this part look easy. Come on. You come better on. be faster, on, Sam. I'm coming at you. Wow, he's moving up his feet. Don't fall, Sam. I, I don't. Oh, <laughs> there's other things here. Uh, nice, good job. Huh, yeah. That was so the hardest part was the, the picking up, yeah, and then you felt fine. Once I got it up, I can walk. Ah, just carry the woman in the house. <laughs> just, right 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 just bring the groceries in the house. Yeah. Um, ah, good job. Good, good job. job. Thank you. Nice work. The hustle. Um, I apologize to your viewers to make uh, making them uh, seasick with the. We were expecting him to go that fast. All right? No, he no. He started running his endurance crap, bringing in. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Settle down, bro. All right. Settle down, I move down. Cardio background. Yeah, but you're out of oh. breath, which means that we're doing something, right? Yeah. Oh, I can 
All right, so let's move on to the next event, which I'm thinking we do, let's do the deadlift. Ooh. Let's do the deadlift. We're gonna do a wagon wheel deadlift. There we Make go. It even more strong, man. Elbow sleeves are just for the looks here. They don't actually fit the guy. Uh, we're gonna take these off or exchange them for lifting straps. Yep. Gonna put this on here. Mufu Dad is already chucked up. Put this on here. You might have to strap me in. All right, so we got wagon wheel deadlifts, which is typically going to be an event in Strawman. Now these wagon wheels are cool, because one, they just look cool, but then two, it's gonna make the bar higher off the ground, okay? So it's almost like doing a rack pull or a block pull. Uh, some people are really strong with this. Sometimes it's a people's weak point, so they don't do as well. Uh, but I just wanna see Mufu Dad approach this and pick this up, and then we're gonna maybe see what it looks like. Okay. All right. Without the straps. You can, what's your max deadlift? This is 285. This is 135, so you can pick it up? Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm not gonna do this crap about, uh, nah, nah, nah. I wanna do it like I wanna do. Okay? I wanna see how you wanna you do, do it. You <laughs> do Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Although, John, what, what do you think in terms of straw man? Do you think that was like a straw man deadlift? It doesn't have enough of this roly poly giant wide stance stuff going on. He needs to look more like, you know, like. Oh, see, I never watched that, so I, I know what you're saying. You think I need to go like that and bring it up or something? What? 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 You show him, Joey. Yeah. Show so me. Show me. It, it was good and all. It was. It was good and all. But we're missing. We're missing. We got to have our feet probably Style. at least shoulder width. Okay. Okay. And we have to really bring the bar out here. What? Like this. Almost like an ab rollout, but not. Okay. Right, and then we're gonna roll the bar in. Yeah. And then go up with it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I, I wanna it. see a little bit uh, a little bit more okay. oomph. I can okay? do Okay. If you wanna be a true straw man, your hands can be a little bit wider too. Really? Yeah, I mean, you guys probably see Eddie Hall deadlift, right? I don't wanna be Eddie Hall. I wanna deadlift just like him. There's only one way to deadlift. Yeah. Eddie Hall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why, why are your hands a little? Right, they're pretty wide. Yeah, just go wider for no reason. Just make it look, <laughs> make it look like the way it people should almost yeah. be sumo, but not. Okay. Right. Now roll it out here. All right. Yeah, all feel right, it now. in your abs. Feel it in now your abs. Now pull it all the way up to your shins before you pull it up. I got you. Ready? Yeah. Pull yeah. It all the way to your shins before you stand up. Oh! oh that's it. That was beautiful. That was easy. That was easy. Yeah. That was, so, I don't want any more weight, but oh. that's easy. What do I do next? Come on. All right, next, so he seemed to have mastered the straw man deadlift. We'll come back to it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, Eddie, call me Eddie Hall. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm taking this as a compliment. Let's okay, let, Eddie. I you were Eddie for a minute. Uh, I don't go anywhere with it? No, no. <laughs> I, know, I know you're a big fan of moving around oh, and okay. running, but we're not going to run with this. Okay. This is going to be stationary, okay? Okay. Right. So the new next story. thing we're going to go over is uh, let's just do a basic uh, sled push. Okay? okay. We're gonna end with the finale, which we typically do. It's over here, don't look over here, but we'll do that last. All right, so I, I've never seen one of these sleds before. You probably will never encounter one of these in a straw man competition. Juju, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, it's a tank, it's from the, I think it's called the tank. Oh, Torque Fitness, I'm sorry, Torque Fitness. They're great people, they're a great group. I love this thing. Um, I would recommend getting this if you like uh, sled push and pull because it's smooth, it's quiet. How does it's it fun. work? Uh, it's it's got magnet magnet magnets in it. Ma it's magnet resistant. Damn, uh, why is that word so hard for me to say? But go ahead and give it a. Uh, we gotta change the force here. It's a neutral how right now. How do we know how much weight's on here? Uh, go, uh, go ahead, go ahead and pull it all the way out. Yeah, I'll put a bunch of weight. All right, max out on it. All right. Wait, now did you, did you? Hang on a second. Did you make it the hardest? I did. You made it the hardest with all this weight. I did. We believe in you. We believe in you. <laughs> Strong uh, hey, look, listen. I got something to say. Strongman isn't always fair. Okay. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's not fair. Sometimes okay. it's just so hard, no one can do it. It's like life. Oh, yeah, okay. Exactly. It's like life. It's like life. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Get those legs pumping. There you go. That's it. That's you know, it. Short step. Many months later. Did you do this before? I love this lift. You tricked me. I Almost as much this. as I love Jacob. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this Jacob ladder thing. Mufu Dad's gonna put you through a Jacob's ladder workout. Good it. job, Good job. Mufu Dad. Ah, it's good. I love it. I love this machine. You love it? Yes. You okay. cute. Yes. So pretty simple, guys. But we just had him go through a sled push. Uh, if you guys have sleds, try it out, and you may see it in a strongman competition here and there. But good for the legs, cardiovascular system, a lot of fun.
Cool. What's right. next? Next. Next we have the infamous strongman yoke. So we're gonna get yoked on the yoke. Right. You ready, Mufuda? Do you know what a yoke? Yeah. yeah. You've like heard of yokes, yolk. right? I like egg yolks better than that yoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, let's go there. Hey, we're back. Hey, guys. Oh, back four. to strongman world. All right, so this is the yoke. The yoke is one of the most taxing implements known to man. All right, so the way I like to think of it is you basically have like just something huge, like an elephant or a house on your body and you're just trying to move with it. So it's kind of like crushing you into the ground and your soul is draining, but <laughs> you're, we're not, that's, that's very descriptive, so <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make you really feel this movement before we try it. But uh, basically, we just want to make sure that our hands are somewhere on the yoke. Some people like to put them up here. Some people like to put them on their sides. It all depends on what's comfortable. Okay. Um, so we're going to get underneath, okay? And we want to basically have it almost like a high bar squat position, yeah. okay? We don't want to be too low because it could fall off our back. Okay. But we also don't want it on, on the bony part of our neck here, okay. all right? Yeah. So kind of just like right in the, the happy medium and whatever feels comfortable. On those uh, trappy traps. On the traps. That's this, the whole thing is about the traps, baby. Um, <laughs> so from there, we have our feet basically hip width or shoulder width. Yeah. I kind of feel comfortable right here about my shoulders. Mm -hmm. right, and then all we're going to do is take that breath. We're going to stand up, make sure we're stabilized, and we're just going to walk forward with it. Pretty simple. Okay. Right, not much else to it. Just make sure that uh, the bar on your back feels comfortable uh, so that when you pick it up, it's not going to swing or, or kick or anything like that. Combination of 80% strength and 20% balancing. Yeah, there is a little bit of a balance component to it. So we want to make sure that we're picking it up. We're, we're really set. Do I have it on the right place, John? Yeah, I think so. And just lift it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Using that arm yeah. span. Bingo. Yeah. We got some nice arms for this thing. All right. All right. There you go. Stop there. All right. One thing I would recommend, Dan, okay. is, uh, is getting even with it before you start. So you were oh, ah, over see. here. Did you okay. feel it? Well, did it feel a little crooked? Because it looked crooked. No, what happens, I'm thinking, is that I compensate. Without the balancing motion, this hand has to keep it in more in balance because you're off balance. So I'm thinking that's probably what happened. Okay. You see what I'm getting at? Not really, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, get in, because I don't get on there straight. Yeah, Joey on this, this thing is wiggling more, so I'm using this hand to keep it in balance. Okay. That's well, not good. So, I'm not saying it's So we just get okay. it straight, Nick? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably say just maybe just get more in the middle and we'll be all right. But hey, man, whatever works for Mufu Dad works for Mufu Dad, yeah, right? I didn't do it on purpose. I'm just saying that's how I compensated for it. Hey, They're gonna make you work. I was good with that. You think that was it, Mufu Dad? Uh, Mufu okay, Dad. Okay, just a little at a time, John. <laughs> all right, you ready? Just a little. You gotta, you gotta be quick. You're gonna do a medley here in a second. And uh, if you're not ready to go event to event, then your cardio sucks. <gasps> you don't want anyone on the internet to ever think that your cardio sucks, do you? Because you're Mr. Cardio. Oh, okay. Guy's an ultra marathon runner since he's like 27, so. Ready for launch. Three, two, one. Lift off. Ah! Let's go, let's go. Come and on. I feel it. Come on. Yes, he's, he's off balance. Look, it's perfect. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stay tight, stay tight, stay braced, stay braced. Here we go, here we go, good effort. Come on. Imagine this is like a bunch of stuff you have to move across the yard to do yard work. Joey, I understand what you said earlier. Don't talk while you do this. <laughs> what? You're making us think it's too late now. It's significantly harder by responding to what we're saying. Stop. Beautiful. Good job. Nice. Yeah. I need some padding on this. You're killing my you need, back. You just need to build your cho uh, your traps up. We're gonna take a, a quick intermission from the strongman uh, five event thing. We're on event four or five. To watching Mufu Dad jump on a trampoline in this gear. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> we'll begin with a spin traveling in the world of my creation. No, James! Ah! <laughs> Popcorn! Popcorn! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the next event? All right. We have Atlas Stones. You ready for Atlas. stones? Yeah. Literally stones. Oh, we did the reveal already. Oh, there they are. Let's do it. Move your dad. Come on. 
<laughs> no more popcorn. No more popcorn. We were afraid the straw man may hurt him, but maybe it was the, maybe it was the, the popcorn. The last minute popcorn that we threw in there. But, All right, stones. Okay. So we're gonna try to do stone to shoulder. Typically, you load the stone onto something. We don't have anything, so we're just gonna load it to our shoulder. So basically, what we want to do is stand right over top of this stone. We're gonna use our hands to basically crush it. And when we're in this position, a lot of uh, mistakes people make is they get into a squat. Yeah. We don't want yeah. to squat. We want to be in a deadlift position, okay? Yeah. Just like this. And we're just gonna take our hands and we're gonna try to get them as deep as we can with straight arms. Don't bend your arms, always keep them straight, okay? We're crushing it, we're gonna stand it up, get it into our lap, all right? Once we have it in our lap, we're kind of bringing our feet a little bit closer so we can use our thighs as a, a shelf or a resting position. And then I want you to take your hands, grab that stone, we're gonna kind of load our hips back, right? So we're getting our hamstrings involved, and then we're gonna really use our hips for triple extension and pull it up to the shoulder, okay? Oh, shoot, you're gonna make my dad's shoulder a stone. I think it's time. Woo! Okay, it's time, Dad. Uh, I think you can do this. He thinks you can do it. Oh. I, I can get it off the ground. I can get it here, but going from here to the shoulder, I'm a little worried about that. Uh, we it, believe in you, Mufu, okay. Dad. Because it makes it going over my shoulder, or I, I won't lift it high enough to get it on my shoulder. Mm. That's okay. So we'll get it here. Okay, just show control. Typically in strongman, you put one arm out like this, and then we're just going to drop it down just like so. Okay, let's try it. That's it? That's it. I mean, hey, you don't have to what run. What do you mean with that's it? it? No, you don't have to run. <laughs> no, just with it. You don't have to run with it. You don't Stop have to giving all the straw men these ideas yeah. that they have to run with stuff. Hey, Joey, what about foot placement with this? Foot placement. Yeah. So basically, uh, shoulder width stance, yep. I would say. And make sure that you're, you're right over top of the stone. So if there was a line that yeah. cut this stone yeah. right through the middle, it's going through the middle of basically my foot. Yeah. The stone to the other side. So we don't want to be too far forward. We don't want to be too far back. And okay. We also don't want to be super wide or really narrow. So just okay. have room. We can put our hands there and lap it. Okay. All right. You know, that's, that's a lot of instructions. I mean, you could probably take a class on what you just described to me. But we're going to simplify it. Yeah, we're going right. to simplify it. Move with dad being schooled. Where's the pulley and the hoist? We're going to <laughs> You are the pulley and the hoist. <laughs> I want to speak just like that. Then okay. give kind of a deadlift position. So we're going to take our hands. Yeah. Right. Put our hands on the stone. Yeah. Crush it. And well, what about this flat part right here? What does it matter with that? Does uh, it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. Dad, um, whatever you do, don't curl your hands like this. Yeah. He you said keep it straight. You want to pick it up and keep your hands straight and use everything else to move yeah. the stone up in space. Yeah. yeah. You mm -hmm. Not your biceps. Don't yeah. even think don't, about using your don't biceps. Don't use your biceps. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I've never done this before, so this is world premiere. World premiere. Okay, ready? So you're just gonna crush it. All right, stand up. Easy, good. Perfect. Then bring your feet a little closer together. Okay. Feet together. And then you can rest it on your thighs. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna hug it real tight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're, you're gonna kind of lean forward and then really kind of pull it back and get it to your shoulder. I, I seem like he leaned backwards and kicked forward. Did he have it? Pull it up onto your chest. If he can. It's a small stone, so typically we want our hands over, but it's difficult because of how small the stone is. Okay. So wherever his hands can be comfortable right now, and then we're gonna get it up. Yep. Oh! Oh! Hand out, hand out, hand out. Left hand out. Yeah! Yes! Nice! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That was amazing. Good job. Good job. That looked pretty That's easy, the too. Hands. The hands. It's all the hands. Speak to the hand. Wow. Good job. <laughs> wow. I knew the hands were gonna come in clutch for this video. Ah. No, but he did awesome. That was, that was perfect. He did exactly. We simplified it to a couple steps. Yeah. Right. We didn't have to think too much about it. And then you just went for it and you yeah. got it. You followed instructions really well. Did I? You did. Yeah. That's that unusual. <laughs> <laughs> well, since he's accomplished his five events, we're gonna to put together a strongman medley. And then we will deem him worthy of being a true strongman once he completes it. Are you ready? I'm ready. We I'm are ready. always ready. Yeah, I'm not out of breath. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> perfect. All right, Mufu Dad. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Mufu Dad is attempting this crazy 70-year-old strongman medley. Maybe the only man to ever do it at 70 years old, which would make us having a world record live on TV. PRs! PRs, baby. Cue the intense metal music. Yeah! We got one stone to shoulder. We one got a yoke walk. We got farmers. We got deadlifts. We got sled. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mufu Dad! Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. This is the PR. <laughs> Everything's a PR. Let's go, baby.
Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Don't hesitate to get any instructions. Okay, got your stance. All right, remember, pick it up. Get it to your lap. Bring your feet closer together. Yep. Right to it. Right yep. To it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Nice job. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Make sure you're centered. Center yourself. Hands on the outside. Outside. Yeah, right. All right. There you go. All right. Right to the former. Go, go, go. Stay brave. Stay tight. That's it. That's it. Come on. You got it. Right here. Drop it. Yes. Good job. Right to the farmers. No big deal. Stay brave. Come on. Come on. Oh, gosh. Fast. Fast. You love those farmers. I'm done with that guy. Done with him. He's done with that guy. Kicks it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's go. One good deadlift here. Yep. Come on. Come on. Ah, yes. Now. All right, the finale, baby. Slip foot. Yes. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah, this is working. Keep oh, getting it. Strong, man. Come on. Come on. Come on! He's going up. No, he's not! Come on, Steering. Don't help me. We're not! Put your hands off of that! We're <laughs> Keep, Keep going! going. Keep going. Uh, okay! Yeah! 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 He, did, he just did one medley, and now he thinks he's the man, but... Sh Maybe he, it, it, he is? Uh, we don't know where he's going. Move your dad! Yeah, C come back! He's the man. All he right. is the man. I, I had a blast. That was fun. Seven-year-old. Seven-year-old. Official strongman. I, I mean... Anybody can pick up strongman, right? Anybody. He's Learn new skills? Like any, well, really, have done anything like this till today. Uh, but just go shows, yeah, anybody can do it. Have fun with it. And, you know, and we had a blast. No, was, and he had a good coach. I think he had a great coach. All right. Yeah. Good job, Joey. Thank Thanks, you. Joey. Thank you. We had a blast, guys. Obviously, make sure you're subscribed to Juji Mufu and uh, Mufu Dad on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he only follows like four people. <laughs> so if he doesn't follow you back, don't don't take it personally, guys. <laughs> don't take it personally. But he's got all sorts of cool stuff on there. Same with Juji Mufu. These guys are Including awesome. Including Where is Waldo? Yeah, where, where's he's got this weird thing with where's Waldo? So go and see if you can find him. Okay. Peace, guys. Bye.